Welcome to Smiling Just Thinking About It, the podcast where we take a stroll down memory lane and share our happiest moments, the ones that instantly put a smile on our face. I'm your host, Jolene Sheldon, and I am thrilled to have Edmund Rossman here with me today. Ed is a stage four throat cancer survivor. He's a retired Ohio librarian and was in broadcasting as a news producer and business manager in Denver and Cleveland for 15 years. We've invited him on today to recall a joyful memory that makes him smile every time he thinks about it. My smile is definitely ready to hear it, Ed. Thank you, and hi, everyone. You know, I always recommend to people who have just been given a cancer diagnosis or a diagnosis of like, you know, a, a bad stroke or anything like that, that they've had, had to endure, to create a mixtape of songs that they like to hear. Um, they can be, uh, I've been doing this since uh, eight tracks, making my own little uh, music catalogs there. And uh, it's definitely something uh, that will help relax you or motivate you, depending on what you need. And uh, uh, play music you like with a strong beat to help motivate you. And uh, when I had throat cancer, um, this whole area of my neck was gone, basically. It was irradiated. I couldn't swallow anything, eat food, drink water even. And so what they did was inside my uh, solar plexus, they put a, uh, a peg tube and the, uh, with a funnel in it that I could like pour down things like boost, liquid protein, and various other things, and water to stay hydrated. Also very important when you're, when you're battling cancer. Anyway, uh, it was a uh, heck of a device. I felt like a Borg from Star Trek. And it was like one of those things, oh, what the heck is this? But I had to clean it every day. And uh, it was uh, cleaning dressings is not fun at all. And uh, I had, uh, it took about 14 minutes. And after the first few days, I, um, realized, boy, I, I really didn't want to do this, but I knew I had to, to counter infections and do what the doctors ordered. So uh, there was a particular long tune that I liked, Time Has Come Today by the Chambers Brothers. I would sing that before I was uh, sick. I would sing that when I was playing golf with my buddies and I made an exceptionally long putt. I'd be going, time has come today. And they'd be all like, no, 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 shut up. But it was all right. It was all good nature stuff. The uh, Time has come today. It's got a good, strong beat. It was a long-lasting kind of tune. And after a while, I was thinking more in, in sync with that, more so than I would do, like, you know, looking at the hole in my chest or anything else, uh, swabbing it out. I'll spare you the details. But uh, music as a motivator can be, like, you know, fantastic. And it's also very therapeutic. It took my mind off of a, a, a messy thing. And after a while, I wasn't even, I, I was aware of that I was cleaning, but it wasn't anything that I was really worried about. I was more enjoying the song, humming along with it. And um, uh, the title of my book, A Guy's Guide to Throat Cancer, also came about by a song. Uh, I had been on Caring Bridge, which is a great social media platform. It helps people stay connected with their work colleagues and people who might not be Facebook buddies. You could sign up for Caring Bridge. And I was journaling basically every day. I had over 30 songs that I posted music videos for and uh, what was going on related to what was going on that day. And uh, one of them was by a band called ACDC, uh, a hard rock band. And they had a song called Thunderstruck. And the music video had uh, ships cannons blowing off, uh, helicopter gunships blasting targets, and various other scenes with tanks and jet planes. It was pretty violent, but all to the tune of thunder. You hear that a lot if you uh, go to football games and things like that. That's a, a favorite anthem. But uh, in my case, I uh, played the music video after my radiation treatment one day, and I said to people, I hope the radiation is doing this to my cancer cells. And they said, uh, one of the, my librarian friends said, oh, Ed, you're such a guy. And uh, I said, I, I guess so. But uh, it evolved into, that's what I wanted to talk about. I and mean, that's what I wanted to use for the title of my book, A Guy's Guide to Throat Cancer, Do's and Don'ts for Recovery. So that was just one of the tips that I had in the book. Um, did I also say, uh, uh, I'm from Cleveland, Ohio, the home of the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. So I'm a little bit biased about having music uh, 
uh, play a big part of my therapy. Uh, I listen to it every day, but uh, I'd encourage everyone um, to get a listing of their favorite songs, or if they know someone who's just been given some bad medical news, it might have to be a long-term type of thing. Um, athletes use it a lot, but uh, get a good mixtape together of motivating or relaxing tunes and uh, have that ready for the bad days. Wonderful. That is such a great, great, great recommendation and story. And we believe that sharing our happiest memories and moments can spread positivity and inspire others to reflect on their own cherished moments. And we hope that this story has done just that for you. Thank you for being with us today, and we'll see you all next time on Smiling Just Thinking About It. Thank <sighs> you.